Thank you, Jesus. It's good to be with you guys again today. And thank you for joining me. Father, set the captives free. Let your people grow uh, to new heights in you. Send re revival now to each of us in Jesus' name. The lesson today is set free. Uh, John 8, 36, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Now that's speaking of Jesus. Has Jesus set you free? I hope so. Uh, looking back now, uh, so many years, and it's uh, been quite a few. Seems so short a time, though, when you're looking back. It always does. Uh, uh, you know, once you get past 21, it just seems like whoosh, shot, shot up like a rocket. Uh, uh, this, this, so it seems so short a time since the Lord uh, Jesus stole my stole my heart. I was a, a pretty. It was a pretty nice day with the sun shining brightly. But when I stepped into the church building, uh, my whole world uh, got brighter and brighter from that moment on. I had been raised in the church till the, till the age of 14. It was then I uh, just stopped going. And I recall, uh, as I recall those days, I remember just, uh, just not wanting to go anymore. I remember, either, I remember even saying to the Lord, I, uh, I get nothing out of this. Uh, I just uh, I I just don't want to come here anymore. It to me uh, it it was nothing. I mean I just I did, I absolutely got nothing out of it. Uh, it was a Pentecostal church, but it was uh, it was just a, a drudgery for me to to go. In fact, all I can remember uh, from that time was uh, the wood shop in the basement, where I made a a, a whatnot shelf for my mother. Which I gave to my mother and hang to, to hang in the corner of the living room. I really noticed uh, no difference uh, by not uh, being there, and maybe a little for a little set free. For I felt I was uh, I was just wasting my time there. Could be doing other things. Yet with my uh, un it, yet with my upbringing, uh, God was down uh, in my soul. I, I love God. Uh, whether I said, uh, didn't, uh, you know, I didn't know it at that time, but uh, I really did. I, I've always loved God. Whether I was thinking about Him or not. So, uh, so uh, <clears throat> uh, years passed as I was uh, in the world drinking, um, drinking much, uh, even smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. I lived in the, uh, the north end of Columbus, Ohio, the USA. A bad end of town even at that time. It's uh, a little worse now. Uh, I was always uh, pretty quiet. I just kind of kept to myself. I mean, I had friends, but I uh, just had a little interest in school. Uh, seemed I was always uh, being tested. Even a few times uh, with knives uh, being pulled on me. Yet I was, uh, this, uh, at that time I was 16 years old. I just had enough of that. I'd had enough. Uh, I didn't want to go back uh, the, next, uh, the next year at, the, at that either. So, but luckily for me, I turned 17 uh, just after school started. Dad and Mom signed me up uh, for the Army Engineers, and off I went. I had made a lot of friends there in the, in the service, but all we did was drink and smoke cigarettes and, and cut up, really. And uh, likewise, God was not on my mind then either. However, at at, at times I would just uh, ask for something and uh, it would come. Uh, the simple stuff. Well, I, man, I can't get this lock open at all. The key won't fit. There's no key for it. I need that. I need that lock opened, Lord. I need it opened now. Just uh, you know, in Jesus' name, and I could pull on that thing and it would open up. But see, that's uh, that's not doubting. If you don't doubt, you can have whatever you want. He's he's serious about that. He he means what he says. I can remember uh, plenty of times God was there uh, when I when I would call. I always remember. Uh, Remembering the words of God, of our Lord. 
Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. It doesn't matter who you are or what your past is. Uh, once while driving drunk, I was uh, I was headed for a tractor uh, trailer, um, and he was headed right uh, right for me because I was in his lane because <laughs> I was passing another one. While another beside me, I had no place to go, and uh, it was too late. Uh, there was nowhere to go. Uh, I closed my eyes like this, Jesus, and uh, I spun around three times. At least three times. Yet when my eyes opened uh, again, I was uh, all alone on the highway. Thank you, Jesus, I said. <laughs> and I meant it. <laughs> uh, yet, I was in, uh, yet I was in shock that I was uh, still alive. Because <clears throat> it didn't look good for me. I was about 21 when I met my wife uh, in 1967. Uh, we had a son in 1968. There was nothing we needed. I had a good job. I was actually making bombs for the Vietnam War. And uh, a good job. I mean, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. In 1970, I was uh, I was asked to, uh, to come to church. Uh, the three of us uh, were went on our way. So we just packed up and, and went. And uh, even while driving to the church, uh, God was holding, it was grabbing my heart. Uh, <clears throat> by the time I reached the, uh, the church lot, I was changing. I could tell it. God was already speaking to my heart. I guess it was time for me to, <clears throat> I guess it was time for the wayward child to, <clears throat> to come home. The spirit was so strong there; it was uh, it was like uh, stepping into a, a high wind and a, and trying to walk through it. Uh, that's just uh, it's 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 even greater than that, but I don't know how else to explain it. God took that spirit and broke me. From that moment, uh, His love uh, for me rushed in, and my heart was His. We were going every day. Uh, the church was uh, in a revival. In fact, it was in a revival for three years. I mean, every day. I couldn't wait to get back. I didn't miss. Uh, I didn't miss one day. Uh, yearning to get uh, get there even before uh, service to to feel the powerful presence of the, of the Holy God. I was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit. I was uh, Holy Ghost bold. God made me bold. A short time later, uh, God sent me out uh, into the into the world to learn and to grow in understanding. <clears throat> uh, the Lord has spoken and sent me uh, into a unique ministry. Now, that was prophesied, so, and uh, that was also prophesied to me. From uh, <clears throat> from that moment till this, uh, I have uh, I have been in the presence of the living God, <clears throat> uh, our Lord, uh, the Lord of creation. Miracle after miracle, I've seen uh, seen Him do. Only because I asked and doubted not uh, in my heart uh, that that His word is true. See, I know He doesn't lie. If you know He doesn't lie, then uh, why doubt? Yes, uh, yes, he does what he says he will do when we ask and doubt not in our hearts. Uh, <clears throat> there just is no love like the, that you receive from the, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Likewise, from the time I went to, to the church till now, uh, for that day I was set free. I'm free indeed. It, uh, it is not too late uh, to ask the Lord into your heart. He heals the brokenhearted and sets you, uh, sets you free from the sometimes awful past. Yet, <clears throat> yet he uses the past uh, that you may learn and grow and have compassion on another who has been through the things that you have. You can help them because of what you've been through. Whether it be murder, 
uh, or Satanism or anything in between. The Father is still calling. Uh, <clears throat> all, that, all that are sick and heavy laden, come. Have you heard the tug of the voice, of his voice? But maybe you think uh, you cannot be forgiven. A lot of people feel that way. And, uh, you know, it's not your fault that you're here in, 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 the, in this darkness. And the devil tries to make you feel guilty. And, and you are guilty if you're doing things, okay? But you can be forgiven because God's love is above all that. And God only allows it uh, simply for your for your growth. <clears throat> when you come to repentance and ask Him into your into your life, He will forgive you. For life is not about what uh, what you uh, what you have done here uh, in your past. And we don't have a time machine that we can use. I mean, if uh, if we did, uh, the the line would be so long you'd be dead before you get to use it. But what, uh, but what you will uh, become in Him, being set free. Now, see, He's gonna, you're, you're gonna be changed, and you're gonna be like Him. When He appears, we're gonna be like Him, and we're gonna be spirit. No longer the flesh is be gone, and we won't be restricted to this. And that's the only thing holding us back. And again, uh, John 8:36. If the Son, therefore, shall, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Father, we come to you today for the, for the lost and dying, the widows, the orphans, the heavy laden, the weak, the strong, uh, victims, uh, the slaves, and the free men. Those who are oppressed, uh, those who have uh, been into uh, cults and worse. Lord, we ask you... Uh, uh, to open their eyes of the blind and lead them uh, to you. Seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened to you. Lord, we are seeking and knocking for you for them that they, uh, they find their way to you in Jesus' name. Father, set the captives free from the bondage of sin in Jesus' name. Come now, uh, he is calling you. Follow the path to freedom. Well, we all want freedom, don't we? None of us want to be in bondage. And, uh, you know, sin is bondage. In Acts 2.38, two, uh, Acts 2 38, uh, tells us to, to repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, and ask and receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost. So let us come now uh, and ask uh, for him to come into our lives, each one of us. And, and truly ask, and I'm going to pray with you uh, for your miracle, whatever it is. So uh, let us come now to the Father uh, in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Uh, Father, we come to you now, God, for each and every person here. God, we in Jesus' name. Now, I basically said uh, what I just said before. You know, uh, only the Spirit does it so much better. <coughs> because that's His language. And that's the way He wants us to pray. He said we're praying always in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. Supplication. I'm trying to get that out. I got a little short-winded. Uh, God loves you. I mean, and Jesus loves you. The Father loves you. <laughs> I love you. Uh, you stay blessed and 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 receive your miracle in Jesus' name. He will set you free. He will set you free. The Holy Ghost was sent to set you free.